What's going on guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about this article here from TMZ and it is in regards to uh, an NFL player, well, uh, football player. I don't know if he's on teams now, but Sua Cravens. I, I spoke about this in my other uh, Malik, my Malik Beasley video. And y'all know, y'all, if you want to see more of that, y'all go check out the Malik Beasley video. But I referenced how Malik Beasley got into an altercation with him, Sua Cravens, over Montana. Yeah who is currently Malik Beasley's wife. Now, at the time, they were just boyfriend and girlfriend, and Malik Beasley really thought in his head that Sua was trying to get with Montana. But Sua is not only denying that he hooked up with her while he was with Malik, while she was uh, uh, with Malik, but that he got basically got his self beat down over nothing okay and this is why i say a lot of these guys allow their emotions to get the better of them because for the most part i think that malik probably was the one out here doing dirt and he was you know and sometimes when you're out doing things you want to point the finger at the other person you know women have done it a lot you know, women will be out accusing you of getting with this girl, that girl. Meanwhile, they have a whole dude on the side that they've been with since the start of a relationship. And I have no doubts that Malik Beasley uh, was doing the same thing. Let's go into this TMZ article. NFL player Sua Cravens is addressing the rumors on social media saying, uh, saying when it comes to uh, Montana, there was no cheating. There are rumblings Sua's not 2019 fight. With the Yow's estranged husband Malik was over cheating allegations, insinuation that Malik went after Sua for getting involved with his then girlfriend. But Sua tells TMZ Sports straight up that just not the case at all. There was no cheating, Sua says. Montana and I hung out years prior to her and Malik uh, even started dating. As for why Sua and Malik threw down, uh, in the apartment lobby in Colorado back in 2019, all Sua would say is Malik brought that up onto himself. He got beat up for no reason. <laughs> listen, man. Listen. Listen, man. That wasn't, if you look at it, it was embarrassing. Because not only did Sua uh, brag about what he had done after afterwards, because he recorded himself leaving riding a bicycle, but he got handled, you know, and he has a, he has height on Sue and still got handled. OK, in front of his girlfriend, who he thought was messing around with somebody else. And that's why these guys need to stop allowing their emotions to get the better of them because they end up looking crazy. They end up going out here making a complete fool of themselves. Malik Beasley made a complete fool of himself trying to fight over a female who he is now left in the dust to be with a 40 something year old woman okay who still thinks she got it all right and you go from with who and i'm speaking on malik beasley you basically sabotage this entire relationship from 2019 to now and you made it worse malik when you got married to montana you shouldn't have married a woman who you really didn't want to be with like that now, I don't know how she is behind the scenes. Obviously, I said that Malik Beasley never got over what happened. I think in Malik Beasley's mind, Montana slept with another dude. If not Sua, then it was somebody else. And I believe that may have happened. I believe that may have happened because a lot of times when you do what he did publicly, walking in public, holding another woman's hand, flirting with her in the comment section while you're still quote unquote married to montana that shows me that you wanted to hurt her or and i said this in my my other video about malik beasley this guy's going through legal issues right now she actually took a took a weed charge for him when he got busted for tapping somebody's windows with a rifle okay let's see all right 
Sua claims he was later contacted by law enforcement and was asked if he wanted to press charges against Malik since it appeared from the video that Malik was the aggressor, but I chose not to. <laughs> so you tell me Malik Beasley not only lost the fight, but they were going to put they were going to press charges against him because he, well, he was the aggressor. And a lot of times what people got to understand is this. OK, when you are being aggressive in a fight towards somebody else y'all notice that usually the aggressors end up losing one because they don't have the heart to really fight that person and two you underestimate the person you're dealing with you think because they're a little bit shorter than you that you can take them but sue is a 220 pound safety linebacker you know nfl linebacker safety the dude can handle himself no matter if he's a few inches shorter than you that don't matter and I think that that's what happens when you're a bit on the naive side. That's what happens when you don't understand that you cannot allow your emotions to get the better of you. And he looked like a fool. And I don't think he ever got over that. I don't think he ever got over that. But my thing is this. Why would you go and marry Montana if you really did not want to be with her like that? And I, and I said this in my, my initial video about Malik Beasley. He either is doing this because of his pending charges and he wants to distance himself from Montana or they want to distance from each other. This could be a plan by them or this guy must be going through something because Malik Beasley could be going through something that nobody is, is understanding right now because he ended up marrying her. So either things changed after he married her, because y'all know we, we all were dealing with this quarantine. Because when you look at, and this was before the reports came out and she talked about how shocked she was. When I looked on Montana's page, she had no pictures of him. She wasn't following him on social media. So I believe they may have already begun to separate before then. But because publicly it would have been a bad look uh, on her part to be in that situation she went along with it but it still makes Malik look crazy for what he's doing let's see the rest of this article as it previously reported Malik and Montana later got married they have a child together uh, but recent photos of Malik and Larsa Pippen holding hands in public during an outing in Miami have caused some issues with their relationship Sua says he has nothing to do uh, with Montana and Malik's relationship and wants to remain out of it I mean that's fair that's fair I, I don't think he has anything to do with it either I just think that because of their past right because of their past people are gonna bring it up but ultimately I, I do think that the relationship already had issues trust issues maybe on both sides now, again, this is one of two things. Either Malik Beasley is really going through something and he really believes that she did something to him. So he wants to get back at her or it's a situation where, you know, he has those pending charges and he wants to distance from her because she did take that weed charge and get himself out of the trouble that he got himself into. OK, and he had just signed. He just signed a 60 million dollar contract. Might be the last big contract he has if he continues down this road. This is a young guy. Young guy has a lot of a lot to a lot of life left to go. He's already chosen to get married. He has a kid already. If Montana was to really divorce him and go after him for support, how would he be able to deal with that? We've seen some of his erratic behavior, starting fights with dudes he he thinks is messing with his girl, tapping on windows with rifles because they're parked close to your house. Something else could be going on with Malik that nobody is seeing. You know, I may be doing a video talking about what needs to be learned from the situation. I haven't done one yet because I want to see how this plays out. That's why I'm doing this video. Some people ask, well, Jay, why are you doing this video? Because 
I want to put the pieces of the puzzle together and you can't put the pieces to the puzzle of this situation without getting the other side because in my initial Malik Beasley video I talked about how there may have been some cheating on Montana's part that may have caused Malik to do this so publicly but Sua Cravens is denying it now again he could not he could be lying but I don't think so so now that we have that piece we can't say it was infidelity. So if it wasn't infidelity, was it embarrassment? Did she get with another guy this year after getting married? But it wasn't with him. It wasn't with Sue Cravens. So we have to look at the fact that Malik himself might be the person that is the most responsible for why this relationship has deteriorated to the to the way it has to where montana's already going to get a divorce attorney and let me tell you something malik you don't want that you don't want to have to go through no divorce bro because all that new money you're that you're getting or about to get is going to be going right to montana and whomever dude she's going to be dealing with when she's no longer with you